Here's a song I know you guys know, and it's a reminder to us that Christmas is about Jesus' birth. somebody's having a baby we want to go see the baby we want to see what's going on well Jesus was no different but he was all that much more special he was the king of kings that was born take it away Teresa hi guys I'm so glad you're here today today we're going to be talking about right after Jesus was born now imagine him being this little baby still in the manger with all these animals around. And guess what happened? The shepherds who were out in the pasture taking care of the sheep got a sign. And that's what our story's about today. Are you ready? The Bible, it's 66 books of history, stories, letters, and poetry that fit together to form God's one big story. The epic adventure of how he created us and loves us so much that he made a way to rescue us. As we travel through the Bible, from Genesis to Revelation, we discover people who met God and found their lives changed forever. Now, for an amazing story, inspired by the book of Luke, chapter 2, verses 8 through 20. When Jesus was born, there were shepherds living near Bethlehem. These men and boys lived outside, keeping the sheep safe from wind and storms and protecting them from wild animals. These shepherds were among the least important people you'd meet, living outside and preparing their lentil stew over a campfire. You, uh, you put enough salt in there? Uh, I'll, I'll add more. Now, we don't know how many shepherds were in the fields when Jesus was born, and we certainly don't know their names, but we'll call two of them Cyrus and Zach. Don't you ever get bored? I'm bored. Mm, time moves slower than a snail with a limp out here. You get used to it, youngin. I'm hungry. Yeah, just you keep stirring that stew. It'll be ready soon enough. Being a shepherd was simple enough. Keep your eyes open. For what? Number one, wolves. Number two, thorny brambles. Number three, ditches and ravines. That's it? That's it. I'm still bored. At that very moment, the shepherds were nearly blinded by a brilliant light. Mutton and mashed turnips. What is that? A brilliant angel appeared, towering before the shepherds. Do not be afraid. I bring you good news. It will bring great joy for all the people. The shepherds gaped, unable to say a word. I mean, it seemed impossible that an angel would appear to lowly men like them. Today in the town of David, a savior has been born to you. He is the Messiah, the Lord. Here is how you will know I am telling you the truth. You will find a baby wrapped in strips of cloth and lying in a manger. The shepherds were just beginning to get their breath back when suddenly, it seemed like all of heaven opened up. A full angel choir appeared, filling the sky. May glory be given to God in the highest heaven, and may peace be given to those he is pleased with on earth. 
Then, just as quickly as they had appeared, the angels returned to heaven. The sky dimmed. Stars twinkled faintly once more. The shepherds stood staring at each other, their mouths hanging open. Huh. Are you bored now, youngin? No. Well, then let's do this. Uh, we could just go to Bethlehem? Leave the sheep? Number one, let's see this thing that's happened. Number two, especially since the Lord saw fit to tell us about it. Number three, get moving. Yippee! The shepherds hurried to Bethlehem, not stopping for rest until they saw a light glowing on the edge of town. There. Breathless, the shepherds knocked on the door. Boom, 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 boom. A woman opened it. She looked tired, but her face was glowing. Ma'am, um, <clears throat> we've come to see the baby. The baby? You know? The angels told us. Come right in. I want to hear the whole story. Once inside, the shepherds were greeted with a familiar sight. Sheep, chickens, hay, and something less familiar. A tiny baby tightly wrapped in strips of cloth lying in the animal's feeding trough. He's so little. Would you like to hold him? The rough shepherds took turns holding the baby, gently as a lamb. The Messiah, the Lord. Right here, with us. When the shepherds finally left, dawn was breaking over the hills. The little town of Bethlehem was waking up. Praise God. <laughs> he sent a savior, a messiah. Just a tiny baby now, but he's going to make peace for all of us, everywhere. Everyone who heard what the shepherd said was amazed, and Mary kept everything that had happened in her heart to think about over and over. The shepherds were amazed at what they experienced. They couldn't believe it. They're just ordinary people, sort of like you and me. But they got to see Jesus. And because of that, they were changed forever, just like we can be changed forever because of Christmas and what all it stands for besides the wonderful time we have with family and friends. Let's pray. Dear Lord, help us to remember how much you love us. Help us to be willing to head to Jesus, the baby and our Savior. Amen. Here's another song I hope you'll recognize. Sing along with us. Rudolph the red-nosed reindeer had a very shiny nose. Say it glows. All of the other reindeer used to laugh and call him names. They never let poor Rudolph join in any reindeer games. Then one foggy Christmas Eve, Santa came to say, Rudolph, with your nose so bright, won't you guide my sleigh tonight? Then how the reindeer loved him as they shouted out. Down in history, you'll go down in.